Hey everybody, Matt from Eastwood. We're here in the Eastwood garage doing another live tech session for you guys. For anybody that hasn't watched one of these before, we broadcast live on eastwood.com, Facebook, and also YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, you can join in on the chat and you can ask questions live that we will answer. We have Scott over here manning the, the uh, live chat as usual. Yep, always over here to be able to field your questions. I can answer them right here. I can also shoot them over to Matt so we can answer them live on air for you guys. So today we are talking about uh, an Eastwood exclusive tool. This is our perfect panel prep tool. Now we offer this tool in both a pneumatic and a handheld version, depending on which you would like. Um, the tool, I'll show you on the handheld tool because it's probably the easiest to show here for Joe, uh, has some special draws here that we've made that creates a perfect bevel in panels when you're doing sheet metal work. Uh, now both of these tools, the pneumatic and the handheld version, We'll do uh, up to 18 gauge steel, no problem. Um, and what it is, it has a male and female section of the jaws. And when I close this here, you should be able to see how they come together. And what that does, that creates a nice little bevel in the panel so that you can drop your weld bead in there. Uh, so I'll show you here on these two and we're gonna do a little bit of welding today. Um, so I'm gonna use the pneumatic version, which I already have hooked up here, which has the same profile in it. So what I do is I stick the panel in. If it's something that has a nice straight edge in it, you can push it in basically till it touches on the back side and hit the trigger. And I'll do a couple here to, and let's show you guys. So what that did is created a nice bevel in the panel here on this edge. I'll do one more, I'm gonna do one more hit on this one and then we'll, uh, we'll also go over to this other one here and do the same thing. So it's pretty quick and easy once you get the hang of it and you can go along both pieces that you're gonna be butt welding. And what this allows you to do is actually create um, a perfectly matched panel so you can butt the two pieces together And there we go. Oop, we'll do one more. And I'm doing half on each of these. So a lot of people talk about the, uh, the difference, uh, the different ways of butt welding a panel when using MIG welder, uh, whether you leave a gap in between the two pieces or if you butt them together. Uh, with doing the perfect panel prep tool, what you're able to do is push these pieces together so that everything's touching. And I'm gonna try and show this here for you guys so that it does there we go. So what I did is in half the panel, there we go, I created that bevel in there. So that gives us a really small little valley that we can add a MIG weld, um, a spot weld or a stitch weld in there. And it will allow you to drop the, the weld in there and it will not uh, sit proud or above the panel so that when you're grinding, you're not grounding that off. So I'm gonna tack this together I'm using 20 gauge steel here. This is from our uh, patch panel kit. So if you guys are looking for sheet metal, we offer a patch panel kit that comes with a couple different sizes of aluminized steel. Uh, and it's really great for making uh, repairs in sheet metal. Again, it's 20 gauge here. So, and I'm using the MIG-135 that I already have set up. Make sure my gas is on again. And 135 is just a 110 welder that works very well for doing sheet metal work up to medium fabrication. And clip this off. And again, I'm gonna tack these real quick and then we'll show you uh, the difference. Okay, so I'm gonna drop a couple welds in here and I'll weld up the seam and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side and we'll show you guys what it looks like. So I'll show you this one first here. 
I got a little straight edge we can use. So, let me take my gore ball off here. So, I'm going to straighten it. Give me one second. I'm going to straighten this panel a little bit so you can see. Um, there we go. So, the panel has a little bit of a bevel because uh, we didn't weld the other side here. It has a little bit of a belly to it. It's popping. But what you can see, it's not sitting proud above, above the, uh, the top of this. Let's see if we can get a nice shot. There we go. And you actually see in the background there, the, uh, the one tack I did on the side that's not beveled. And on the back side here, you can see I'm getting 100% penetration. So this is welded all the way through. So this is going to hold very, very well. We can sand over top of this and we're not taking away the weld seam. So what I'll do is I'm going to uh, weld the other side here and we'll show you guys the difference between the two of them. And I'll get right up next to that other one so you can see the difference. Uh, the same settings on the machine, I'm not changing anything. So what we're getting on the back side is we're not getting quite the same penetration. And when we go to actually weld it or uh, grind this, we're going to be grinding off that top layer. So I can hit that with the sander then and show you guys. We could even use a file. But by doing this bevel, it's giving us a little valley. So when we go to sand this, uh, I can sand it off and it's not going to be harming the weld, which I can do. Any, any questions, Scott, before I... Uh... Sure, while you're getting ready and get set up, one of the sure. questions, again, was the gauge. For anyone who's just tuning in, this is good up to 18 gauge um, mild steel. Uh, the other nice part is on the flip side to that, there's also a punch, which is going to yes. do just a, a shade uh, or just a little bit more than 3 sixteenths of an inch hole. So it makes for very convenient, fast, uh, you know, if you want to do plug weld, stuff like that. Um, and as Matt's about ready to show, you know, when you grind away your weld, you never want to grind them flush because uh, you'll lose all your strength. And we're going to show real quick how that definitely, having this perfect panel prep tool, you're going to leave a large amount of your weld, so you're still going to have all that strength you need. So we'll, uh, I'm going to hit this just with a flap disc quick. So I didn't weld, I didn't grind the whole thing smooth, but what you can see is on the side that we did not, we did not bevel, I'm sanding away a good portion of the weld because it's sitting up on top of the panel. On this area here, you can see that the weld actually hasn't even been touched in most of the area of where we welded because we have that valley. Now again, I could dig in here and, and grind that out, but we don't want to do that. The idea is not to, is to grind as little of your weld as you can. So if you prep the panel correctly using the perfect panel prep tool, um, and you get the panel fitting nicely, you can lay a bead in there that's going to sit uh, either flush or just below the surface, and it'll be no problem at all. Uh, here, we're actually grinding away a good portion of that weld, and we're probably about half the weld is getting ground off, uh, so you are sacrificing the strength for sure. Uh, so that's definitely something you do not want to do, especially when you're doing something that's, you know, like a quarter panel or something like that that's going to see a lot of vibration. And we'll see if we can turn this so you guys can see. There we go. That light actually kind of helps. So you can see the area in here on this one. That's actually where it's not touching. It's touching on either side, but it's not touching down the center. So if you'd like, you could put, if you want to get a little more weld in there, you could put another pass through there uh, where you could add just a little more weld to get it to get it even um, or if you're doing filler work uh, it's very very the, it's just barely low below the surface so you could put a skim coat of filler over there uh, which you're probably going to do anyways when you're welding that on or uh, when you're doing the repair blend it all out and there's no problem at all you don't have to worry about the strength of the panel whereas here we're going to be grinding off probably 60 or 70 percent of our weld and you're hoping that just a fraction of a weld is going to hold the panel uh, over time, which a lot of times is where they fail. 
Any other questions that we have, Scott? No, we're good. Cool. So again, the Perfect Panel Prep Tool is really good for you guys and gals that are doing repairs on sheet metal work. It's good up to 18 gauge steel on both the handheld version and also the pneumatic version. Uh, and the pneumatic version, as a bonus, like Scott mentioned, does have a hole punch built into it. So you can do bevels for doing butt welds or if you're doing, um, if you're doing plug welds or spot welds, this is really nice. You can, uh, you can punch a hole in the top layer and then fill it up with your MIG and do really nice uh, spot welds or plug welds with it. So you can grab this, uh, these products right there in the link we have in the comments section to view the page. You can purchase. You can also grab some more info. We have a really great Q&A section uh, on the website where Scott and the other techs will answer your questions. So if you have a question about the product uh, before you're looking to purchase, you can drop a, a question right on there and they'll get back to you pretty quick. Now you can also see reviews about the product as well and see what other customers are saying about that. So make sure you click the link, check it out, and also you can make a purchase right there on the site. Any other questions before we're done? No, nope, we're good. Great. So thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate it. If you have any ideas for future broadcasts, make sure you drop us a comment, as always. And we do broadcasts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And also we do every morning at 8.30 a.m. We give you guys our, our daily deal uh, so you guys get that information first so you can jump in and grab our daily deal of the day. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.